you know, it is going to be hard to convince people that what we are fighting for is not to kill the rank and uh, file on the streets, but actually the system that they represent. And of course, being the stooges of the system, uh, they will share, they will have to bear the blunt of our hatred and of our animosity. But at the end of the day, we need to, we need to keep our uh, heads focused on the ultimate goal, which is removing the military dictatorship. Uh, but if we still, if we are not able to overcome the divide, if we still respond with hate when they come to our side, then it will be very hard. It will be very hard because they will be, at the end of the day, the calculation comes down to, you know, what is it in for me if I am to defect, right? I think, number one, you will think about yourself and only then, only afterwards, you will think about the country. Um, some people might disagree, but I think it's the more rational, uh, utilitarian approach to thinking about it. Uh, the soldier will think, okay, you know, what is it for me? Will I be able to survive, right? And if the immediate answer is, uh, well, even if I defect, people are going to throw stones at me, people are not going to provide me safe haven, then the question uh, is automatically uh, becomes a no answer. And that is, I think, quite not ideal. So we really also have to start, um, you know, driving the message that we need to welcome these defections.